We realize it's easy to get confused by the numbers when we're talking about hydroxyapatite, so here's a quick and easy explanation. We use a recipe for our toothpaste, just like you use a recipe if you're baking cookies. The most important ingredient in our recipe is nanohydroxyapatite. In our recipe, we use a starter solution containing 15.5% nanohydroxyapatite made by Fluidinova in Europe called Nanoxum. That's because the SCCS in the EU reviewed the research and has designated this type of nanohydroxyapatite as being optimal for efficacy and safety. As far as we know, Fluidinova is currently the only manufacturer of nanohydroxyapatite to meet the strict standards of the EU's SCCS. So here's our starting point. Fluidinova's formula at a 15.5% concentration. Now we put 20% of this formula, by weight, into our toothpaste like this. We also add other important ingredients to our toothpaste. These include water, prebiotics, and L-arginine to make a perfect paste and to help feed your good guys. Now let's look at our recipe once we mix it all together. Since our 15.5% solution of nanohydroxyapatite makes up 20% of our toothpaste by weight, a little math shows us that a total of 3.1% of our toothpaste is now made up of nanohydroxyapatite. Okay, so let's do the math. A 15.5% solution of nanohydroxyapatite makes up 20% of our toothpaste. 15.5% times 20%, or 0.2, equals 3.1%. In other words, by the time we finish, our toothpaste contains 3.1% total nanohydroxyapatite, and research is showing that a final nanohydroxyapatite range of 1 to 3% is optimal for sensitivity, remineralization, and whitening, with concentrations up to 10% being acceptable and within the safety standards. Again, this starts with a 15.5% nanohydroxyapatite solution. See all the research and white papers here on the site for a deeper dive into these numbers. In the future, we hope that all companies start indicating the total concentration of nanohydroxyapatite in their final products to ensure optimal efficacy and the sourcing, size, and shape of their hydroxyapatite particles to ensure optimal safety. By advocating transparency, we hope it inspires others to follow. As an added bonus, we also added microhydroxyapatite, the larger particle size of hydroxyapatite, to our toothpaste recipe for even more efficacy and benefit. And here's one final note for dentists. Our varnish, available only at dental offices, contains 57.34% of the same Fluidinova's Nanoxum version of nanohydroxyapatite by weight. Starting with that same 15.5% nanohydroxyapatite solution and multiplying by 57.34% or 0.57 results in varnish with 8.6% nanohydroxyapatite in the final product, still within the SCCS standards of 10% or below for safety, and with the addition of L-arginine and prebiotics to help support the remineralization of teeth and the nourishment of the oral microbiome. By feeding your good guys, we have produced a safe and effective fluoride varnish substitute for routine visits to the dentist.